Now, Twitter versus Donald Trump war is continuing. In the latest, Twitter has removed a video tribute to George Floyd that was posted by the Team Trump account. It is a nearly four-minute-long video with a speech that the president gave a few days after George Floyd had died in Minneapolis police custody. The video comprises a clip in which the president can be heard lamenting the grave tragedy, quote unquote, of Floyd's killing over images of Floyd and peaceful protesters mourning his death. The re-election campaign video was removed by Twitter, claiming that it had run afoul of the website's policy on copyright material. The video titled Healing Not Hatred, however, remains available on YouTube. Twitter's latest move to sanction the Trump campaign's content coming amid heightened tensions between the social media giant and the US president. Twitter last week, remember, had applied a fact check label to Trump's tweets about mail-in voting and then also another tweet suggesting Minneapolis protesters would be shot. Upset over Twitter's fact-checking moves, Trump had issued an executive order aiming to remove Twitter's legal protections. And that prompted a lawsuit from a tech policy organization charging that Trump's order violates the First Amendment. A top Twitter executive has even refused to rule out suspending Donald Trump's account if the president continues posting messages such as those about the George Floyd protests earlier. With over 80 million followers on Twitter, Trump has relied on the platform to get out his message without submitting himself to questions from reporters. In a virtual UK parliamentary hearing, Twitter's public policy strategy director told, uh, the, uh, told those present that the platform had decided to put Trump's tweets to the same review process as it has for other verified public figures. He also said that all avenues are open if any user continues to break Twitter's rules, which could be a subtle warning that Trump's account could be suspended if he continues with the violations. Twitter's decision to fact-check and hide Trump's posts had put pressure on Facebook and other social media platforms as well to follow suit. A virtual walkout by hundreds of Facebook employees was also triggered as the chief executive of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, had refused to sanction false or inflammatory Trump posts, as alleged. Meanwhile, Snapchat on Wednesday accused Donald Trump of inciting racial violence and warned that it would not promote that type of content.